what's up? Okay, yeah. Well, I just cleared the code. Or just, yeah, I just cleared the code. But, uh, yeah, Mectronics unit is back again. That's after doing the, uh, that, uh, wire, well, the wiring harness, uh, modification. Uh, in Indiana, last video you saw was in Arizona. We relocated to Indiana, so it's been a while um, since I've done a video and had really the time, you know, trying to get a house, the house together. We'll get a house, get the house together, and uh, start a new job. So I've been pretty busy uh, doing stuff like that. So now I'm able to do the video. Uh, while I was in uh, Arizona, the after doing the wiring harness. I thought it fixed it because it didn't come on for a little while. Um, but then we got, you know, into a 114 degree day there and yep, it popped on the, uh, malfunction mechtronics, blah, 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 stupid, you know, the curse of, um, I didn't have too much time to get into it. You know, like I said, we were in the process of moving and everything else. Uh, so finally, now I'm being able, or I'm able to address it. Um, I got some good news. There's a fix for it. The issue is in the control module, uh, which is on the mech unit that's inside, uh, all the trans. If you've seen any of those videos, you can see where the Mechtronic unit is. And that little silver square you see in that video, that's the control module for the transmission. And it'd be nice if it was on the outside, but it's not. It's on the inside. So, uh, before you do the wiring harness fix, I, I just well it got a, a message from somebody. I forgot what his name was on YouTube uh, about the wiring harness and the D and the F and all of that. If the box that it came in had the F on it, that is the updated version. The plug itself could have a D on it. Uh, but it's just because there's a million of those. Um, but the box they put it in, if it's got an F, that means it's new stock. If the box that it comes in has a SKU number with the D on it, or a D, I think, they, what was the other one? An A, maybe? I can't remember. It's in the video. Um, that's also going to be old stock. Older, older stock. Back from, like, 2011. Um, they did a couple revisions of it. Like I said, that plug part itself, it could have a D on it. It's the box that it comes in. You want to see an F. That means it's new stock. Um, I know when I replaced mine, the wire the wire colors were different. So, but nevertheless, all right, before you do that, get a hold of, uh, I'm going to consider him a friend now. I've talked to him quite a few times. Uh, he's a whiz uh, with these uh, Mectronic units and the control modules. Um, he's on Alliance, Illinois. Uh, his phone number, 708-771-1339. Uh, the address is 4645 Prescott Avenue in Lyons. Um, yeah, I talked to him quite extensively. He knows all about the mech unit, and I guess he's done quite a few of them, like a lot of them. Um, so I'm referring everybody to him. That's where I'm going to be taking my mech unit too. Uh, I know you can also next day him to him uh, and he'll uh, redo the mech unit or uh, the control module and up that temperature sensor because that's the issue we're having. Uh, the control module for some reason is knocking itself down to trigger at 120 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. It should be I think fail safe it's somewhere like 210, 218. Normal running is 173. Um, but in this year, uh, the B8s, the 2010s, the 2011s, I think what happened is because we didn't have the extra trans cooling, it cooked it. Um, 2012, 2011, they actually put on a separate filter, which I don't think fixed the issue. Uh, 2012, they wound up putting a auxiliary cooler, which 
I think is controlling the issue. You guys, if you're mod like me, I'm, I don't know, uh, ultra charged. If you're stock, you're not going to hit those high temperatures for that transmission. Um, but if you got a B8, 2010, 2011, and you're modded like me, yeah, you're going to hit it. It's going to hit it pretty quick. Um, but stock, like I said, you're not, you shouldn't have an issue with your mech unit in a 2012. Uh, if you riding it hard in 2000, the B8, 2010, 2011, yeah, you could see those high temperatures and it could cook that uh, control module. Like I said, which is happening to, uh, to the B8, the 2010s, 2011s. We didn't have the uh, separate auxiliary cooler. Um, I wound up putting a, a giant one on there to keep the, the temperatures down. I wasn't planning on leaving Arizona. I did it for that reason. You know, the, like I said, we're seeing 100 degree, 114 degree temperatures. And yeah, this trans heats up and it does not cool down fast there. Uh, I'm here in Indiana now, and I'm watching my trans temps at 70 degrees. My trans temp, and that's not, I'm not jumping on it, just normal driving. My trans temp is staying below 120. Um, that's at 70. At 73, yeah, it starts to creep up within about 45 minutes. It'll creep up and tag that 120 and boom. There goes the light, the malfunction, shut it down. Or what you have to do is you know, find a spot to pull over if you're not stopped at a light. But uh, pull over, shut it off, restart it. And if you get that little gear symbol to stay on that dash, it won't do it the rest of the time. As long as you're not jumping on it. If you hear it chime again while you see that little symbol, yeah, it's going to go into that parking neutral thing it does. But it should be safe to drive. Look, I'm driving mine. I'm actually on my way to work right now. But like I said, I, temps right now are at 70 degrees. So I don't have to go that far. I'm only going 20-something miles. So I don't got to worry about that happening. Um, but, yeah, give these guys a call. I'm going to be yanking out my uh, Mectronic unit as soon as, I, as soon as I get time now that I'm working. Uh, as soon as I get time to pull it out, I'm going to take it into him and uh, have him work his magic on that control module. Now, the good thing about him, now say you bought a Mectronic unit stock from Audi. If you have, well, for one, once you put the mech unit back in from there, you have to take it back to Audi so they can program it. The difference with this guy here in Lions is you won't have to do that. You send him yours or take your car in, either one, when he gets a hold of it. He changes what needs to be changed or fix what needs to be fixed, sends it right back to you, good to go, drive away. You know what I mean? You're not going to have to deal with the dealership. Um, you're not going to have to worry about knocking your, if you've got whatever, the, the DSG tune on there, you're not going to worry about having to change that or have him shut that off or any of that. He could work with that as well. It's not gonna he won't be able he won't I won't be able to him he probably could but he's not gonna knock it back to stock you don't have to take it back to API or whatever one of their authorized dealers to get the tune taken off and the stock one put back on so you'll send your mech unit to him he works his magic <clears throat> excuse me it sends it right back to you um, really good guy uh, like I said he's very knowledgeable and you know, this is what he does. Uh, Mercedes. Well, really, all of these Mechtronics units, he does them all. So, that's what you have to do. I would say, don't waste your time on that wiring harness. I spent the money. And to be honest, the money I spent on the mech, on the wiring harness, well, I got a good deal on it. But nevertheless, it would have gotten me closer to getting my control module, which that's going to be the issue. Um... Like I said, if you're able to put yours on a scanner and find out when that that uh, Mechtronic fault is popping up, do that. Um, but more than likely, you're going to see it at 120, 125 degrees uh, Fahrenheit trans temp, trans coolant, or yeah, trans oil temp. That's when it's going to trigger. So drive accordingly. Uh, if you still want to continue to drive it, 
pick a familiar route so you got an exit point to where you can pull over shut your car off restart it and just in case it does it i've noticed on the expressway it'll pop on after a little while it'll go off but just before you get to your exit it pops back on again you got to pull over shut it off wait a few seconds restart it and like i said as long as you can get that little gear symbol if it stays on, you're going to be good to go the rest of the day, driving normally. If you don't romp on it at that point, because you're going to have to just, once you hear it chime again, you're going to have to redo it all over again. So, and that means shutting it off and restarting it. So give these guys a call. Uh, phone number is 708-771-1339. Uh, they're in Lyons, Illinois. You can either take your car to them. Or send your Mac unit to them. They'll next day, they'll next day it and everything else. Um, I think that's about it. All right. Well, sorry about the disappointing news, guys. I tried to find a cheaper fix, um, but you know some things are out of our control. I thought I did enough research to pinpoint exactly what it was, and I, I'm sure that well the wiring harness that I took off was the older one. So, it wasn't a total waste of money. Did I need it? I don't know. Um, had I had the control module done first, you know, who's to say that, you know, it wouldn't come on from there. Or I would need the wiring harness eventually anyway. Or he would have said, hey, you're going to need the wiring harness as well. I don't know. I, I have no idea about that because I've already done the wiring harness. But now I'm going to be pulling out. And you can see I'm driving the car right now. I'm in the Audi. I'm not romping on it, you know. But And another thing, it feels really good to be able to have 93 octane in the car. Um, even with the 91 octane tune, this thing is a beast. But as soon as I get the Mechtronic unit uh, control module fixed, I'm going to take it in and have them put that uh, 93 octane tune on here to see what all that horsepower is like up here in the Midwest. Um, glad to be back home. I'm not from Indiana, I'm from Chicago, but this is close enough for me. Um, all right, guys, good luck. Give these guys a call. Tell them that Rick Swift sent you, uh, and he's going to hook you up. Very informative. The guy knows his stuff. Um, way more than I do. I'm a mechanical guy. The electronic stuff, yeah, I'm not so good. I mean, I'm not terrible, but obviously my diagnosis wasn't the, the correct one. So uh, that's it. Uh, this is it for Saturday morning. I don't know, August 31st, I think it is. Uh, good luck, guys. Give these guys a call. Uh, get your Mechtronics unit fixed. Don't get rid of the car. For what you're going to pay, these cars are just, they're worth way more than what you're going to, We'll just put it this way. Had Audi fixed the problem, you'd be keeping your car, I don't know how many years. Think of it that way. A, a bad Mechtronic unit, and it's the control modules that are going out, that are going bad on these things. Well, not going bad. They're just, they're cooking, and that temperature sensor is basically frying itself. That's what's happening. It's heating up, and the temperature sensor fails. That's the problem. He can, he can fix that. Um... So again, like I said, had Audi done that in the beginning, we wouldn't even be having this conversation, but Audi didn't, so we are. And uh, keep your cars, these are fucking amazing cars. Like I said, I'm, I'm ultra charged, and I still have yet to be able to play like I wanna play with this thing. And winter time's coming up soon, so it'll be time for some blizzacks and some snow fun. But, uh, all right, give these guys a call. I'm rambling. I got to get to work. I got to drink my Red Bull. All right, guys, good luck. Take it easy. Bye.